much summer, this near the summer solstice concerning it happening is very possible to happen at the time. I'm going to put definite. It might proceed near that time, but summer solstice look is where you know because they, uh, your the true uh, rulers of darkness they worship the sun god, and they are uh wanting trying to get wait for their uh the the phoenix to arrive that the sun gods arrive and and everybody arrives concerning the the whole principalities and powers and rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness and high places are arriving as a whole that Paul warned us about that we must put on the whole armor of God you know what I'm saying for that evil day to proceed that we be ready that we will you know declare victory that people are not getting that is the idea but I want to talk I want to talk about my I love about the story of the three little pigs I love talking about the three little pigs but the topic of the message is the reality of third pigs where are you at just going to put it out there like that third pigs where are you at as you know the story of the three little pigs the First pig build their house with hay, and the other one build their house with sticks, and the third one build the house with bricks. Now, um, the, now the reason why uh, when you're building something, you're supposed to be building something based upon structure, structure that will withstand. See, we are supposed to put on the whole armor of God that we can withstand the wiles of the devil. And, you know, in, in the 13th verse of that, it talks about, you know, put on the whole armor of God concerning the evil day that we will withstand, that we can stand. Now, the thing is, we're supposed to be establishing something that will or having a material that is created to withstand something, withstand uh, the big bad wolf, you know, um. That is coming. That uh, very soon. That I'm, you know, pretty much telling you that the principalities and rules of dark, principalities and the powers and rules of darkness, spiritual within high places, all of, uh, got their plan set in order that everybody is going to be arriving soon. That those need to put on the armor of God to fight God's fight of victory because it's victory. You know, there's victory if you're on the team light, but if you're on Team Darkness, defeat. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, that is going to happen. And I did messages on the idea of the Dead Sea Scrolls that, you know, people think is nothing to it. Uh, but they were in Israel and they were written by, you know, uh, 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 people that was about God. That, but the Dead Sea Scrolls talks about this uh, event called the Sons of Light versus the Sons of Darkness which is, I believe, that is what's going to take place concerning all the people that are going to participate in this war that's going to take place, you know, that Paul talks about in 1 Thessalonians and 5, pretty much, is, you know, uh, is talking about that, and he's telling people to put on the, the armor of God, I mean, armor of righteousness, he's being prepared for war. You know what I'm saying? It's what the agenda is right now that you need to focus on. And if we want victory over the principalities and powers in the heavens, it says in Ephesians 3 and 9, it talks about 9 through 11, that it talks about that we must be about the fellowship. Fellowship is going to help us with this victory, but it says it's going to be a mystery. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, Fellowship has become a mystery to the church, you know, right now because the church is operating division and tradition and religion and the incorrect structure that, uh, according to Peter, the one that was in the day of Pentecost, wanted it to operate in apostles' doctrine and fellowship, breaking the bread and prayer is supposed to be the four corner stone, the four was the foundation of of the church system if it's going to be the church system um, that we need to operate if we're going to truly uh, be the church now watch this be the church 
the church in uh, Ephesians 3, well, Jesus, ch the church of J Jesus Christ is what it says. You know what I'm saying? If we're going to be that church of Jesus Christ that uh, we will defeat the uh, principalities and powers in heavenly places. It's in Ephesians 3 in 9, 11, 9 through 11. That in and the church is not really telling y'all this kind of stuff. They don't. Wow, it's amazing. Uh, to what extent that y'all are not understanding? Are y'all not? But Paul says that men will not endure sound doctrine. In Second Timothy and four, come on, it, come on, men are not going to endure sound doctrine. And everybody will yield themselves to itchy ears and all that. Come on, y'all, wake up, wake up. I wish I can slap people spiritually and wake them up, you know, according to um, Romans 13. You know what I'm saying? Wake up. It's time to get ready for war. And it says in Romans 13 to put on the armor of light. It's time to wake up and get ready for war, y'all. This is not a game. This is not uh, the game. But the watch this. But the third pig, the third pig realized he's going to create a structure that is going to go to war. With the big bad wolf. He's not going to play games. Now the first pig. Is the uh, world of course. The second pig. Is the lukewarm Christians. Definitely yeah that's. They put sticks. It, it seems like a structure. It seems like it has structure. But it's not really structure. You know that I see. People love me. And you know sticks are more. They Well you know the world gets hay. Because it's you know. It's easy to pick up. Sticks, it has a little structure to it, but it's not really as stable to withstand, you know, the forces of e evil. You know what I'm saying? The kingdom of darkness, pretty much the big bad wolf. But the third pig understood that we need bricks. We need bricks of the kingdom of God, bricks of the word of God, bricks that operates by faith. You know what I'm saying? The faith of the substance of things that are hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen that is created by the spirit. That we will approach the big bad wolf or the Satan's kingdom of darkness and say, not by power nor by might, but by the spirit of the Lord, we're going to win the fight. That uh, that we're supposed to be preparing for that it says in Ephesians 6, 10, be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. That we will come against the enemy that is going to come against us. That we need to get prepared and ready for war. And like I said, fellowship is the agenda. Should be the agenda if you want to be about it. And fellowship, anybody can do it. You can do it anywhere, anywhere, at any time, anywhere. You know what I'm saying? You can fellowship with as many people as possible. You know, talking about the word of God, talking about scriptures and everything else. And, talk, and getting a meaning and understanding and becoming in agreement. Because that's what the fellowship is all about. According to 1 Corinthians 1st chapter in the, uh, 9 and 10. It's all about coming in agreement. The same mind, same judgment. That's what fellowship is supposed to establish to truly be the true church that we're supposed to be. If we be that church in Ephesians you know, uh, 3, when we be that church... Uh, we will defeat the principalities and the powers uh, that is supposed to come and attack us in heavenly places that you don't realize that is coming very soon uh, to come and attack. But we will have we will win concerning victory over the enemy because God already sent the sign in the heavens in uh, June 15, 2011. But that's why we're supposed to be looking up in the sky, scars in the sky. June 15, 2011 shows the judgment of the uh, Ophiuchus. You know what I'm saying? That the, the cross the, uh, will defeat the enemy. But it depends on if you're in light or if you're in darkness. You know what I'm saying? That we need to understand that it says in um, Ephesians 3 and 10, it talks about to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church, uh, by the church, the manifold wisdom of God, the manifold, see, because I'm about wisdom. 
showing forth the manifold wisdom of God, but this church system is operating in foolishness, y'all. They think they, they can operate in division, tradition, and religion, things that are contrary to the scriptures concerning Jesus Christ, and think that they can truly represent the church. I mean, to me, that what makes the church so wrong right now is that you think you're supposed to name the church. No, the church don't have no name. It's called the church. That's what it's called. The church with one body, one Lord, about one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all who is in you all, through you all, and in you all. You know what I'm saying? Is what this oneness is supposed to be all about in the spirit of uh, the unity of the spirit and the unity of the faith is what the true correct image of the church is supposed to be all about. Not the many uh, lies of denomination and religion and all the other crazy stuff that y'all believe that is a representation of Christ. No, nope, it's not in the scriptures that, that is a representation of Christ. But it's, it is about religion that Jesus went toe to toe all the time with the religious scribes and Pharisees all throughout the Bible that say that y'all are not convincing the people that these people are not of God. Don't eat their uh, leavened bread. You know what I'm saying? Don't eat the leavened bread that's going on right now. And there are too many Christians are, are like addicted to the leavened bread of the scribes and Pharisees of this religious system that are all about just the attempt to divide the power of God because that's you can only sabotage the power of God. But you cannot stop the power of God fulfilling his divine purpose that you need to be all about and be about the third pig. And that's what the pig that I'm about being the third pig. You can be the, the, that one first pig or that second pig all you want to. Mac is about third pig in uh, in John 4.24 in spirit and truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be about being the third pig. Whether I get rejected by men or rejected by Christians or whatever. That's what the gospel is all about. That's what Jesus Christ was all about. He was rejected and his, you know, too, and by his disciples, dipped on him. You know, look, this is what it's all about. If you truly want to be about the faithful few that Jesus showed you about, you want a broad gate with the first pig of the worldly people out there, or the second pig of the lukewarm Christians out there, you can go right ahead. Mac is about the third pig, the faithful few, the chosen, you know what I'm saying, that's going to choose the will of God, no matter who's, no matter what, who said, you say, who say, whatever it say, all about what God said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that is proceeded out of the mouth of God, is what I'm all about, Jesus Christ, and that's what the true third pigs are about, the third, the, you know, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I can keep going with that, but, you know, that's it. But that's the message. But I hope that y'all be about the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost on the 100 real about it is written concerning about the Word of God. If you are third pig, but if you want to be the first pig about the worldly system and bleed the lies and the second pig sticks that's showing somewhat structure, but not really structure. We know the story of the three little pigs and how it ended. They structures were blown away. You know, the first one blew it away. Second one blew it away. But the third withstand the enemy and, you know, and the enemy tried to call up the roof and almost got burnt up by the fire of the Holy Ghost that I, you know, look at it and parallel it. The fire of the Holy Ghost, you know what I'm saying, burnt the devil and his kingdom of darkness away from the place and he took off running and there's nothing he can do. All right, that's the mission. But yeah, you know, the first and the second pig, they ran into the third pig's house. All right, third pigs, we got to build this kingdom of God up in spirit and truth because the, the, the world and the church and the lukewarm Christians are going to be running into the our house that we're building upon the kingdom of God in spirit and truth. So we got to keep building the kingdom to make room for them. The spiritual kingdom, not the natural brick and stuff. Like that. The spiritual kingdom. And that's the message. To God be the glory. Here and forever and ever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, third pigs. Go to work for the kingdom of God.
in Jesus' name. Amen.